hello everybody welcome back to my channel so today we are back with another fragrance video this one i'm super excited about because i really had to narrow down my top perfumes for a bride this is a big deal okay and i think i selected really great ones out of the ones that i already own and some that i have been testing out for the past two weeks that i don't own yet but I had to include them right here. I do have a sample of them, so I'll be talking about them and show you guys pictures. But yeah, I'm super excited for this video and just wanna say thank you so much for everyone that's been showing so much love on these videos. I love reading your comments and chatting with you guys back and forth in the comment section. So thank you for just, you know, showing so much love to this channel. I really do appreciate it. So definitely leave your comments down below. I do want to ask you guys a question before we start this video. What was the scent that you were wearing on your wedding day, on your first date, or on your anniversary? So comment down below if you remember that. Um, so I am going to be going down the line with these fragrances. I, I feel like this is a great selection. We have really gorgeous high-end ones, but we also have affordability in here and you guys are going to be shocked maybe you won't but i think you'll be shocked at the affordable one that i put in here they are all beautiful feminine sweet perfumes like that's the main theme here that you guys are going to hear over and over so i might sound a little bit redundant but i'm going to start with number eight this one is Carolina Herrera Good Girl Leisure. So I decided to include Carolina Herrera because this is a classic, sexy, grown woman type of scent that everyone needs in their collection, first of all. But secondly, it is a memorable, unforgettable fragrance. It's very, very... um. It kind of like grabs your attention when you're wearing it. You will get a ton of questions, a ton of compliments when you wear this perfume. It goes on a lot of different people, whether you are mature or you're a little bit younger. It is a sexy grown scent. And I feel like for that bride that is super confident, that's always known what she wanted and is just ready for her day, this would be the perfect pick. I'm thinking of a bride that's wearing a dress that's a little bit more um, risque, I wanna say, a little bit more revealing, maybe some lace that you can see a little bit of skin. I feel like this fragrance would be perfect for that type of bride. And I'm putting it on the least category, not because I like it the least, but because it's more of that sexy scent. And I wanna go towards more of that soft feminine touch, which I think every bride would smell amazing in on her wedding day in her beautiful gown. But this is definitely for the sexy bride. You can layer this fragrance to last all day long. So she does offer her hair mist that you can put on the hair. There's also the body cream, this humongous tub right here that you can put all over the skin on the legs then go in with your perfume and you are literally covered in this fragrance and it's going to last you forever literally forever your dress is going to smell like it so every time you smell your dress you're going to remember your beautiful wedding day and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance so the next fragrance that i have to mention is from Giorgio armani and this is c Fiore. So this is the latest launch for Giorgio Armani in their C collection. And I just find the Fiore so soft and feminine and girly and angelic. It is such a sweet, beautiful scent. It's, it's like lovely. When I think of the word lovely, I think of this scent over here. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's black currant in there. There's green mandarin, neroli, patchouli. There's vanilla. They, there's white musk. It's a very simple perfume, but there's just the, the sweetness in it just makes me feel so girly, so soft and delicate. That's why I love this perfume. The bottle alone makes me think of a bride, a wedding day. It is such a feminine fragrance that lasts a really, really long time on me. And it's just 
it's beautiful. It's a lovely perfume. It's nothing crazy and out of this world, but it's very memorable. It's very girly and it's definitely something that men like because of the sweet element. A beautiful a white dress, crisp, I mean, sweetheart neckline. This is what I'm thinking of. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So the next one we are talking about is from Givenchy and this is Linter Tid. I think that's how you say it. And I believe it means forbidden in French, if I'm not mistaken. This one is the Eau de Toilette, which is kind of crazy to think that I would pick the Eau de Toilette over the Eau de Parfum. And that is because the Eau de Toilette is a lot softer, a lot gentle, a lot more fresh than the Eau de Parfum. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous perfume for an outdoor wedding. First of all, this is what I think of when I smell this fragrance. I just love how fresh it is, how sweet and alluring it still is. And I still find this very sexy, very playful, but in a very gentle, soft way. The Eau de Parfum is a lot more intense. It's a lot more mature. And this one is almost like a fresher, younger version of that perfume. Still very long lasting in my opinion. Still gorgeous, still very captivating. Definitely an outdoor wedding. It smells like almost like a bouquet of flowers to me when I when I really take it all in. It smells like flowers. It smells like fresh flowers with hints of sweetness in this fragrance. I absolutely love it. It's a classic scent. It's not too sweet. It's not too musky. It's right there and it just smells like a garden of flowers. If you are having an outdoor wedding when you're surrounded with a lot of flowers, your wedding is based on a lot of floral arrangements, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous perfume. It will just complement the scene. It will complement you so well. Fifth perfume on our list, and this is a classic. It's timeless, it's effortless, it will be around forever honestly and everyone will love this fragrance this is Lancome La Vie Belle Eclat I do prefer the Eclat over the original La Vie Belle I will say that I don't know why there's just something about the Eclat that really grabs my attention I find it such a timeless classic fragrance that goes on a lot of age groups to be honest I want to say mid-20s and up this is a gorgeous, gorgeous perfume. It's not too mature. It's not too young. It is that perfect in between. And it is a classic scent that it just can be worn any season, any time of the day. It is perfect. So this one is beautiful. It has freshia, mandarin, orange, bergamot, iris, jasmine, sambac, white flower, orange blossom, patchouli, vanilla, and sandalwood in the base. So Towards the end, you will get a little bit of that sandalwood, but it's a very sweet, not sweet, almost like floral again. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Every man I know really, really loves this. Loves the scent of it on a woman because of the sweetness in it. It just really brings out something. It is very girly, very woman-like, and it is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I can see this on, I don't know what the setting is for your wedding, but you can definitely wear this for spring, summer, fall, winter. It is going to go with whatever you're going for for your wedding day, whether it's an outdoor or an indoor setting. Maybe you know, you went to the tropicals to elope, but this is a beautiful scent that is just timeless. You will, you will smell this and you'll remember your wedding day and you won't get sick of this scent. I can wear the scent every day and I just love it. I get a ton of compliments with this one and I know a lot of women that also do. It's beautiful. The bottle's absolutely stunning. It's a classic, classic scent. So the next fragrance, I actually do not own the bottle, but it's a fragrance that I have been testing out this week. I got a sample from Sephora. This one is from Imperio Armani, and it's called In Love With You. Guys, I don't know why more people aren't talking about this perfume because it is absolutely 
stunning. It is the like one of the most gorgeous fragrances I have discovered over the past month. Oh my god. Definitely on more of the mature side. I want to say late 20s and up. It's stunning. It is sweet. It's fruity. It's a bit sugary. It is so beautiful. It has black currant, sour cherry, raspberry. So lots of sweet fruits in this one over here with a little bit of sourness in it, I want to say. There's worn wood, jasmine, rose, and patchouli. Oh my goodness. Once it starts to dry down, you definitely get the rose, you get the patchouli, and that jasmine is really, really potent. It is floral but it is also fruity all at the same time and the sweetness of the combination of the florals and the fruit just makes this a stand alone perfume it smells expensive it smells rich and vibrant oh the dry down is gorgeous it's warm it is a warm scent so I can see myself wearing this more for fall and winter it's very cozy. It's very inviting. Again, the fruits and the rose are just impeccable. They are really, really well blended in. And the dry down is, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you want to smell like fruits with a little rose in it, with a little floral to it, this is perfect. It's stunning. The next fragrance that I have to talk about is uh, super duper affordable. I discovered it only this week and I'm already head over heels. Um, I am really blown away by this one. And it's because I'm testing out a bunch of affordable fragrances to give you guys my top five affordable fragrances. This one is definitely in the number three-ish spots of those top five. <sighs> Ariana Grande Cloud. Guys. This is such a unique scent. It's so unique, so unique that I am really surprised I've only discovered it recently. Now, I'm going to be honest, completely, completely hate the bottle. I find it looks very cheap. It, it looks very childish, almost like a toy. Honestly, I don't like the bottle. I really, really wish that she had just done something a little bit more clean, minimalistic, nude, um, because I don't, I don't like this at all. But the, the juice in this is, it's, it's almost addictive. I want to say it is a gorgeous scent. That's really hard to describe the nozzle on this terrible it sprays like you're pouring water on your skin so another thing the packaging just isn't my favorite but the scent you have to give it time to dry down because initially if you just go to smell it it, it doesn't smell the best but it just smells incredible it is my scent of the day by the way this smells like a coconut breeze with musky masculine elements but still very sweet and very edible it almost smells like marshmallows to me in a way like sweet marshmallows close to like a fire or something because of the muskiness it is incredibly unique i can definitely see someone wearing this on their wedding day and just getting so many questions on their scent and compliment it is a beautiful scent that you really can't compare it to a ton of scents it's not it's not fruity it's not super musky it's not super sweet it's like everything wrapped in one it is it, it's gorgeous so in this one we have bergamot pear lavender we have coconut whipped cream praline vanilla orchid uh, wood and musk. <sighs> the praline, the vanilla orchid, the whipped cream, you definitely start to smell that once it dries down. But then the muskiness and the wood kind of hits you. It is, it, 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 honestly, it's one of the most unique scents. 
scents that I have found recently. And for the price point, I am completely blown away. It is a very potent scent, but I will say that I can spray a ton of this. Like I can do about five to six sprays and then I'll be like, okay, this is enough. It is, it's gorgeous. So the next fragrance is in the number two category and it wouldn't be a list for me without mentioning this fragrance. And I hope you guys already know what I'm talking about. This is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance that you need in your collection, first of all. But for a bride, it is spot on perfect. This is such a feminine fragrance. It's sophisticated. It's refined. It's beautiful. It's angelic. It's powdery. It's sugary. It is everything you need in a fragrance and more. Mongolon has beautiful notes in this, such as lavender, bergamot, jasmine. It has rose in there, Tahitian vanilla. It has patchouli. It is such a beautiful scent that I honestly can wear every single day. Like if I had to pick a signature scent, Mongolon would be probably in my top three for sure. It's so beautiful. It it. It definitely has that powdery, silky element. Like you can almost feel it. When you smell it, you can feel it. But it is such a refined scent. It's so sophisticated and just angelic and beautiful. I can see a bride in this in her white wedding dress and just like, oh, it's so good. Definitely a scent that I can wear all year round because it's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's not too sweet. It is a all year round. And again, for any type of setting that you have, whether it's indoor or outdoor, this is going to work for you. It sits on the skin so well and it lasts on the skin very well. Definitely, definitely a gorgeous scent for a bride. So now we are finally down to my number one perfume for brides. This one is fairly new to me. I tested it out for two weeks and I am completely obsessed with it. My number one perfume that I actually had a tester of right here. I had two testers actually. So I wanted to really, really test it out and feel it. This is Delina from Parfums de Marly. This scent is such an extraordinary delicate scent it's another super unique scent like you know how I described the Ariana Grande where it's super unique you can't really pinpoint it it's the same with Delina it is such a soft angelic sophisticated um cashmere milky kind of scent it is so beautiful. And some of the notes in here I have not seen in a ton of my perfumes. Like there's nutmeg in here, there's lychee, there's a Turkish rose, there's vanilla musk, there's Haitian vetiver, there's cedar, there's incense. The incense and the nutmeg are the two that I haven't seen a ton of in fragrances. And it just makes this perfume super unique. It's very feminine. It's very... Um, like I said, creamy, milky, it's, it's, it's silky. It's so delicate and angelic and woman-like. It's beautiful, beautiful. Like, oh my gosh, it's such a unique, unique scent that I am completely head over heels for. And I did get questions on what I was wearing. I did receive compliments when I wore this perfume. It is stunning. It is one of those fragrances that I could wear all year round. I could definitely make this my signature scent. But if you know Parfums de Marly, then you know that this is a very expensive perfume. We're talking in the $400 range. So nothing affordable at all about this perfume. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's one of, it's another super unique scent that I have in my collection. It just smells like a beautiful bride it really does every time I smell Delina it just reminds me of like a wedding a gorgeous moment in life a beautiful moment in life a glammed moment in life it is Delina it is such a beautiful beautiful 
fragrance. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope I wasn't all over the place. I feel like I've been filming for the past three hours <laughs> trying to get my point across. So hopefully when I edit, everything makes sense. And I hope you guys enjoyed the selection of perfumes that I brought to you today. Definitely let me know what are your top three perfumes for a bride and what did you wear on your wedding day on your honeymoon on your anniversary on your first date let me know in the comment section if I was to renew my vows anytime soon I would definitely go between Delina and Mongrelon they are so stunning I would probably even layer them because they smell so good that I can see them smelling good together so guys that is it for this video once again thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also check me out on instagram i will link everything down below and i'll see you guys on the next video ciao